Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use this Kenkone AG Pro wireless gateway use the Zigbee sensor in Tasmota firmware so you can see this is our AG Pro I have connected an uh, external IR cable so in this video I will also show you how to connect with this cable for extend your IR signal for your gateway and also we show you this Zigbee sensor, this is, this is Zigbee temperature and humidity sensor, uh, it's Xiaomi and this will work in Tatsumoto, you can see, uh, this is Zigbee sensor ok, let's look at how to download the firmware and set in Tatsumoto uh, you can see this is our phone, so you can see this Edge and Edge Pro that have the Edge Pro ESP32 define, pin define and the Tatsumoto firmware for Edge Pro and this is how to use the ZHA in Home Assistant later I will show you uh, this video toy so let's first look at this PCB board this is AG Pro that means we call it all-in-one the wireless all-in-one because you can see this PCB board there are ESP32 and this is Zigbee module because this is Zigbee 3.0 point point uh, so that is Zigbee 3 stand and this IF receiver and the IF sender and this is IF module a uh, Tuya IF, IF module and this is Tuya so this is almost all in one and the first we will look at how to use the Tasmota firmware in AG Pro so we can click this one and it's also very easy just to set this pin define for Zigbee IX and the TX and you will see the Tasmota window will show the temperature sensor and the uh, first we need to download the firmware from the Tasmota also you can download this firmware because uh, this is the newest we will released by the Tasmota so you can click and we can download this one Tasmota 32 and Zigbee Bridge Pro this bin file and use this ESP flash just you can download from here that is the flash tool you can uh, according to your operation system uh, Windows system or Mac OS so let's look at how to do with it and the first you can use this USB cable and connect uh, with this one it's mini USB cable so you can see I have connected here and this box this cable connect to my computer ok I have already downloaded the firmware and uh, this uh, ESP flash ESP FLSHER so I can open this file and the third part will auto detect it's COM5 and the firmware you can just choose uh, this I have downloaded this task motor and uh, click flash ESP now just wait for a moment ok now you can see it's complete and now the Tasmota will begin an uh, AP mode at this IP address so you can see you can use your Wi-Fi connect to this generate this new Tasmota AP signal click connect uh, not need the password so now we can use this one this IP address to login you can see I can login by this 4.1 ok you can see uh, this is Tatsumota web page will be opening and the first we need to set this load uh, I can click this one and click my load password and press save and this controller will be reboot and after reboot will show you the new IP address of the controller you can see this is a new IP address so you can click this one and now you can see this is Tatsumota web page and we just first need to configuration and config the module and you can see our form you just need to set the ESP32 for the Zigbee module the 32 is Zigbee IX and the 33 is Zigbee TX so you can you can close this window and 32 RX so you can see uh, this is 32 and choose the Zigbee RX 
and this 33 that is zigbee tx okay then you can press save and this will be reboot after wait for a moment and you can click menu then you will see this zigbee function have list and we can also click console and the console and you will see the log output and the zigbee will begin running you can see the reboot reboot zigbee device and uh, this this zigbee began work you can see zigbee start and no zigbee device information because it's new so we can click console console so we can click console and main menu now you can see this button is turned blue and this you can see the zmp version that means the zigbee is running start and the zigbee mapper you can see uh, this will be show the zigbee signal mapper and because this is only one coordinate just the controller so we can click this one and click zigbee permit join okay now you can join uh, this new zigbee device this is my xiaomi uh, zigbee sensor i can hold down this button for prior the signal i can hold down and you will see the blue LED is blink you can see the blue LED blink and now you will see in my computer you can see uh, this have displayed so now the Zigbee Xiaomi sensor have added to the task motor it's very easy you can just click uh, this join and then we begin to learning the Zigbee sensor signal and now you can click Zigbee mapper and you will see uh, this device just show me Zigbee sensor so now we have added the Zigbee sensor to the task motor it's very easy so if you have the second, the third, the fourth device you just click your pair button and add all sensors to the gateway so this is how to download the firmware to ESP32 and use the Zigbee for the task motor and then the next we can look at how to use this extend IR cable and we can see at here this topic how to connect extend IR cable by AG Pro you can see this AG Pro uh, uh, it already have the IR transmit but if you want to use extend cable you can see just you can go through this hole so you can see we can open this box and open this PCB board and one, two, three, four, four point the screw remove the screw and you will see the PCB and you can go through this IR extender cable to this plastic shoe and go through this PCB board and at last fixed on this terminal so at, at here you can see uh, this is positive and this is negative so this have the right the white color at the at this cable so you can connect with it uh, just as this uh, it's easy a uh, positive negative and now you can see uh, install the PCB bar back to the bottom shoe and you will see uh, this goes through this cable and at last you can see at this so you can put this IR transmit uh, in front of your air conditioning maybe uh, at another another place and maybe and beside it to your TV because sometimes this gateway is not easy to put in front of your IR device so this is how to extend this IR extend cable okay thanks for watching